Thank you. Here we are up to the Mishnah. Mishnah on Kofala from the base. Another about two and a half weeks. And then we make a uh, see him and then uh and then uh on to Baba Basra. Yeah, so Zog the Mishnah. So now we go again, we continue with the tenant land how do you call it? Landlord tenant uh, re relations. All right. Um like who's high for what? So it's a Zog the Mishnah. Um Hamas buys the chaver. So if a guy rents out his house to his friend, so who's chayev to pay for what? So Hamas chayev bedelis benagar over middle. So the master is chayev to pay for the door, for the lock of the door. Well, I don't know. Dele, nagar and middle. So I think the nagar is the bolt. I'm not sure what it means by that. And the middle is the lock. All right? Meaning I, the whole contraption that locks the door. All right? So that's that's from the master. That's that's his job. And anything that requires expertise. So then that goes, that's on the master. But anything that's not a Maisa Uman, then the renter, renter has to, has to, he's the one that's a Chroy for it. Yeah, so again, the, the renter is not really high for much, only the, the small jobs. Right? Um, the Zevel, the, uh, how do you call it, excrement, manure, that goes to the Balabais, meaning from the yard. He rented the yard. We'll see in the Gomorrah, he rented the yard from somebody, so that belongs to the Balabais. The Seicher, the renter, gets the ashes or whatever junk is left in the Tanner, the Tanner and Karam. Those are two different types of ovens, two different size ovens. Whatever it is, the junk that's in there, their ovens were kept outside. Right, so Rashi says you could use you could also use it to fertilize. So that that the stuff from there belongs to the tenant. Right? Okay, so Tan Rabana. A master buys the chavera. A guy rents a buys to his friend. Master Chai Lahamad Lloyd Losses. So the, the master, the landlord, has to pay for the doors, the chalonis, and he has to give him open windows. All right. Um so that means you're, rent, you're renting a house without a door, and now he's got to build you the door. I, I thought maybe the door got broken, or maybe he just decided to rent it himself. Is, is this maybe just like a euphemism for protection in general, or do they mean the actual door itself, and that's it? Um. No, I. Is it protection? It, I mean, you're talking about protection for for uh, crime. You could also have protection from animals, protection from everything, you say. Yeah. Yeah, so either... Um, either it's shot that he decided it was his own house, and now he decided to make a rental, in which case he has to make it livable for people. That's dumb, That's one the way I thought it was. Right? Or something went wrong. So what does he have to pay for? Right? Those are the, the those are the two ways I that I thought it meant. Right? Rash, I mean Rashi says the, the next one, the Khazak Tikra, right? The beam, he needs to be Mechazik the beam. So that's Rashi says in Mitalio and Asarim, if they if they got wormy, you know, beams decay. So if termites or something got into it, so then the landlord's gotta pay for that. And list like my Kaira. And also he, to to lean a beam, meaning usually that means if the beam got broken, that so all those things meaning major maintenance the landlord's required to pay. The we, we, yeah, we hardly have it anymore. But it used to be people had borders in their house, 
So like the, the chesed apartments, right, have to have a good door because they have ladies and men staying in the same apartment. So they put like you know, real good locks on like outside doors on the inside bedroom doors. So people used to have that because they had borders, which they rented one or two rooms to. I mean, uh -huh. It was thousands of people in New York lived like that. That had extra income, they they would cut off of one of their own rooms and rent it. Yeah, so you got to say that you'd have to make it, you know. I I yeah, that's interesting. Not a that's hollow the, door, you know. Right, interesting. I'm sure there'd be good machlokes in between the tenant and landlord <laughs> of exactly how strong a door you need to have. Yeah, <laughs> it's a besoicher chayav lasis lefsulam. The besoicher is is to make a ladder. Meaning if a, the psycher wants to go upstairs to the attic or to the roof or whatever it is, he, he cannot command the the landlord to build him that ladder. Lasis le mica, and if he wants to make a mica, mica is a, a railing. Lasis le marzev, or to make uh, gutters. Yeah. Um, so you want to get the rain away from the house. Ulatiach is gaga, and also to to smear the roof, meaning to, to fix the roof. So basically anything of the roof is up to the tenant. Right? Because I, I, the pshat is, is that um, I think the pshat is because the tenant's going to make use of the roof and I don't think it's really included in in the what do you call it? In the contract. And that's not usually the norm. So Mamela, it's uh it's uh, he can't. He, he I mean he can't. He has to. The soicher has to. He can't go after the landlord. Okay. Who is mechuy to put up a mezuzah? So Gemara says mezuzah. Everybody knows that, right? Mezuzah is a chiv of the one who's living in the house, not not the landlord. Landlord doesn't have to put up a mezuzah. Ella makam mezuzah. What about the makam of the mezuzah? Right, because back then they you see it in that a lot now, the mezuzahs are inside the walls. Right? They don't have them sticking outside. So who's mchuyiv to make that hole in the wall? So I'm a little rough shesh, in Yisua, Davash ain't my What Sharashra has it inside, right? Yeah, yeah. I think oh yeah, probably all the shar, yeah. Well, I just remember Mashain came coming from the airport, coming down that that big ramp in there where they have that huge mezuzah, right? Yeah. <laughs> We said if it's not a Maisa Uman, then the then the 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 tenant has to do it. Why not Mila Maisa Uman who the hang up a mezuzah is not a Maisa Uman? Oh, excuse me, the Safra Bank on Fifty Avenue has it in the doors also. Oh, in the doors? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I probably for protection. I'm saying. Not um, mezuzah protection that that people don't take it down or whatever. It is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so so the Gemara says Efsher who begupsa on Tamar Aleph now begupsa the Kanya. No, you don't have to necessarily make a hole in the wall. You can just put it on a gupsa the Kanya. You can put it in a like a mezuzah case and hang it, and that doesn't require any sort of uh, uman. Yeah, but. Even so, that is the uh, not even so, but since since it doesn't require any sort of major work, therefore the tenant has to do it himself. Um, now, just time we have to do this tosis. We can't pass up on this tosis because we talk about it so much, right? That uh, because we know that our mezuzah is on a slant. Right? Why? Because it's a machloikis. Rashi Rabbeinu Tam. How you put the mezuzah? So, so Taisus wants to prove from this Gemara that, like Rashi, Shemenichan mezuzah ma'umad. You put the mezuzah straight up. And that's why you need a gus of the kana shalay tipol. Meaning, if you put it straight up, then I guess it's gonna fall. But according to Rabbeinu Tam, that you put it laying down like a sefer Torah. Like a sefer Torah in an aron, and not standing up, right? So then, um, uh, then it's it's that I guess that you don't necessarily need a tube for it, well, because you could just meaning if you do it according to Rabbeinu Tam, what is a tube doing for you? 
It's laying down which way? I think he means like inside the wall. Like it's laying flat that way. Right? I think. But we don't put our safer tires like he's saying, Tosus. Yeah, that's true. No, I mean, we lay in our safe. Well, well uh, Ashkenazim do. Right? No. When you're talking about when you're laying or when you're standing in the oven? Um, I thought while laying, but I could be I'm wrong. I don't know. What what how do you understand? I this is says Munach Yeah, yeah no one that? does like that. Neither Sfardim or Ashkenazim. Right. Do that. <laughs> no, but you could, right? I don't know if that's I'm saying you could. But we had a case like this, didn't we? Didn't we have something about that? Maybe it was McGillow. So I was in McGillow. Are so anyway, there, what? there, there was a straight. Who? And and we lean the Sifatora straight also. Who is who does? Swartum. Swartum, yeah. They yeah, what? so we're saying. No, the Svarim, the Svarim keep them as a straight up. Oh, not on a slant. But we do a pshara, right? So we do a pshara somewhere halfway, whatever that means, whatever that means. But anyways, Which isn't according to either of them. What? Right. Exactly. Which isn't according Correct. to anyone. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> it's like it's like put on the shell yacht of Rashi and the shell Rashi of Tom. Yeah. right, or something like that. Like anyways, Baka, Baka for for mikvah. Yeah. Although you're supposed to put it more straight up than you are than you are flat, at least according to Ashkenazim, right? So whatever the Tosis is bringing is that this the, this Gemara Lachar is more of a raya that it should be straight up. That's why you need something to 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 hold it to hold on to so it doesn't fall. Okay, fine. Then Tana Rabbanu, a master buys the chaveri ala seicha lasas and mezuzah. The seicha the the tenant is supposed to do the mezuzah. Kishu yaitz alayit lena biyadai. When you leave, and there's a lot of tumult with this one, when you leave the house, um, you cannot take your mezuzahs with you. But if the the, the the house is owned by a guy, then you then you do take it, because you don't want to leave a mezuzah with a guy. There's a story with a guy who took his mezuzahs and he left the cover, and then he ended up Meaning he took his mezuzahs with him and he buried his wife and his two kids. So Mara says, My solicitor, you just said that you're allowed to take the mezuzah. Then you bring a story that a guy died and his, his wife died and his kids died. So it's a steer. So Mara says, That story is That story is going on the ratio. Meaning, that story is that he lost his wife and his kids. That's when he took the mezuzah from a Jewish rental. Right? And um, and he wasn't supposed to do that. This is where we get this din in Shulchan Aruch that you're not supposed to take your mezuzahs with you. Right? And it's a big tumult because there's all sorts of loopholes. If they're going to paint and it's coming down anyways, so then it's fine. And if the person coming in doesn't want your expensive mezuzahs, you'd rather have cheap ones. So then we tell them, have somebody else take it down. In case the Gemara says that, the Gemara means that you take down the mezuzahs yourself, so that it could cause the Sakonah, so you let somebody else take them down. So the problem is that when you get <clears throat> a guy leaving the apartment does not get a heter to take down his mezuzahs, and the guy coming got himself a heter to take down from he, where he was coming from, so now this guy is stuck with two mezuzahs. <laughs> right? So because the guy coming in brought his own because he got a heter to take them down and the guy leaving didn't get a heter. So now what? Well, we're stuck with two sets of mezuzahs. Right? In which case you would tell the, the incoming tenant to take down the mezuzahs and give them to the guy that left. If he so chooses to do that, he could do that. You just can't take it down. But anyways, the reason why the paiskim and people are scared to take down your mezuzahs is because of this Gemara right here that a person had to lost his wife and his kids when he took down the mezuzahs. And what's a pshat? So because it's a bizayan to the door to leave it without mezuzahs. That's why some say also if you take it if you take it down you put new ones right up right away then it's also okay. 
All right, whatever. That's a that's a big that's the practical aloha for tonight. Also, they get you rent from a not from Jew. They have a mezuzah just on the front door. It happened to me. Then you go, you move in. You have to put up mezuzahs all the other doors. So then, and then you leave the house. And then well, you're gonna take down all right. the mezuzahs. Right. No, you can't. So, but uh, the only thing is, maybe if a guy goes in. Right. Right. I had it by me that the non from the the the, the fry yid was moving back in. I didn't want to take them down because now mom, I'm I'm leaving a Jew with the house with no mezuzahs. Right, right. Talk, so talk. I just left, left them up. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. That's schus. That's Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe because expensive, says the money it's expensive people, one, though. Uh, yeah, no, they were old, cheap ones. I needed new ones anyway, so I said, you know, I'll leave it, leave it, leave it for that guy. Uh, uh, maybe because it says the man, the man, you be you make him, maybe make them. So maybe me the connect me that you take it down, then you don't have a refill. See, kids die. Oh, yeah, that's very good. That's very good. I didn't think of that. Maybe. Um. Well, you could be Mizak of the other guy, but you don't have to be, be Mizak and lift name serves the din. Well, I'm saying sometimes it's expensive. You don't have to do a hitter. You make a hitter. You, we just got their, their kosher, but they're not. Yeah, the, and a Hanami. I don't think you Well, anyways, on a rental, it doesn't have to be a hitter. A rental in Chutz Right? It's, it's not a, it's a, I'm not saying you shouldn't get nice mezuzahs, but it's not, it's not a major, it's not a major chi of like if you own a house. Okay, Baita. So Hazevel Shobalabais. So we said that the manure gets kept by the Balabais. Van La Sakra La Yotzim and Atanum and Abkirai Baba. The Sakra only gets the ashes and whatever else, whatever other junk is in the ovens. So my skin is what are we talking about? Elam Bachat the Agar Lay La Sakra. If we're talking about a field that he lent that the 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 tenant also rented the field, the Ture the Sakra, and the Shar and the animals belong to the Sakra, Amai Shobalabais. So why should the menor go to the balabayas? The the renter, <laughs> the renter rented the field. It's his. What's the problem? Does the tenant have to tell the landlord if he finds something that normally isn't in the oven, or it's his? Everything in the oven is his. The the, uh, the, the landlord's wife left an envelope of mizumin in there. She forgot about it. Um, no, that I think you'd have the standard Ashova Saveda, I think, right? I think so. Okay, but uh, no, I'm saying that isn't it? What doesn't mean that you get everything. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't I, I'm assuming it means the junk that somebody wouldn't have, but I don't know, maybe you're right, but that's what I think. Um. Anyway, so that's what the Gemara is asking. So if it belongs to the renter, so he should get it. Must be talking about where the Sarah doesn't rent it for Ture the Maschir. And we're talking about a shore that belongs to the Maschir. So the Gemara says, Pshita, so then that's Pashit. Why should he? Of course it goes to him. We're talking about the chutzar belong to the landlord, the ture the asamei alma kamuva, and then it happened to have cows from the hefker cows roaming through. So therefore, we're saying that it goes to the landlord. Sayele the Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Chanina. This is a proof of Yosef Chanina. Don't Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Chanina. Chaser shalom mukarin l'shalom b'daytoi. We had this couple of times that the chutzar of a person is kind of even shalom b'daytoi. And that's why if you have something gets a lost object goes onto your into your yard and somebody else wants to come claim it, he can't because your yard is kind of even without your das, assuming that there was girish. And just for right. Akiva's sake, the this is a chutz share, ain't a mishnameris. Yes, that's coming up. That's coming up. Um. Yeah, so, yeah, the, what I mean, this we're talking about a chutzah. That's what I mean. It's yeah, this is, cows roaming through it. What? This chutzah has got cows roaming through it. I mean, so what? Maybe somebody let it in. No? I don't know. 
Anyways, okay, so what we're going to talk about Mr. Maris now. So Mason, Im Omar call Matsya Shivola Sakhoi, Ayoim. If somebody says any Matsya that comes into my house today, technically Khatsari my Khatsa should be kind of for me. Whatever it comes into my yard today, my my khatsa should be kind of to me. Loyamar Klum, if he says that, he said nothing. Right? Meaning because he doesn't know, he's just putting out that. Oh, if anything comes into my yard today, so my yard's being kinder. If it were kinder, why would I not say that every day in my life? Because you have too many things to say in this city. You don't have time to say it. If they it's were, a pretty important one. If, I, if, they, if that would work, so I wake up in the morning and I say anything that comes, that comes into my hut, sir, I'm kinder. I say it every day. Well, we'll <coughs> see. Because if it's a hut in Mishnah you may not even have to say it. <coughs> Right. Well, let's see. So, if if what Rabbi Yisroelina says is chaterus shaladam kainu lo shalemi daitay, that the person's chater is kainu to me when shalemi daitay, am I lo yomar klum? Why did he say? Why did he say nothing? He should his chater should be kainu to him, and the chater should be kainu to him even if he says nothing. Ah, we're talking about a chater sheinu mishtameres. So if it's a chatzah she'ena mishdameres, meaning it's not protected, that means you have no gate, essentially. You have no gate, like my yard. Right, it has no fence. It's it's right there, right there next to Shazam. That's not a chatzah mishdameres. That chatzah is not kind of for you, automatically. Meaning without your das. If, with, if it's with your das, and avada, it's kind So when I say, Yachi, Ema Sefer, what about the Sefer? Yotza le'shem mitziyah be'ir. If there was a rumor that a matzia was in this guy's field, right? So Rashi says that an animal was 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 hanging out in this guy's field, a wild an animal from the wild. So the rumor went out there that this guy it's it's on this guy's field, and Nuchar should go to this guy, Devar Kayom. And then if he said he wants his field to be kinda, then he's kinda viba chatzas shein mishdameres. And if it's a chutz, it's not mishdameres. Ki yotzel leshem etziyah beer myavi. Who cares that the rumor goes out in the city that there's this animal hanging out in his yard? It's a, it's a chutz sheinu mishdameres. The animal could leave at any point. So the Gemara answers now. Even the yotzel leshem etziyah beer, since there's a rumor of the metziyah goes out in the city, mivdul b'dili inchimina. Then once the rumor goes out that this animal. Is hanging out in this guy's yard, and the rumor goes out that it belongs to, to him. And it's like a chutz because nobody's going to go, nobody's going to go take the animal because the rumor already went out that this guy was kind of the animal because it's hanging out in his yard. All right, so again, it's not a stira with the mishdameres. We're saying that this particular field is a chutz mishdameres. Find another kasha meisvei zevel o yotzim and atanu menakirayim. So the zevil that comes out of the Tanur Kirayim, and any zevil that he grabs from the air. So we're going to see that what does this mean? He, the, what the guy did is that he put a bucket, um, a bucket so that the animals will go to the bathroom in the bucket. And therefore, he'll be kind of that way. So then it all belongs to the tenant. That's but that's in the chutzim. I'm sorry, that's from the Tanar Kirayim and what he's calling him Naver. But for Shabrefis, for Shabachotzer, but what's in the barn and it's in the yard, Shabalabayas, that belongs to the Balabayas. Him, Isa, Lahadur, Rabbi Yasir, Hanina, Dhammer, Chatzir, Shalom, Kanel, Shalom, Daito. And if it's true that the Chatzir is kind of even without your knowledge, Kailam, I have a my Harehu Shalai, why is it that if the tenant takes the Zevil out of the air? It belongs to him. Avir chaser here. It's already in the avir of the chaser of the meicher, and there of the master of the landlord. And since it's in his airspace, l'chayre he's kinded. So how can you say that it goes to the renter, to the tenant? So Rabaya b'mad b'kli b'shulei paro. We're talking about where he attached the kli right under the bottom of the of the animal, where the animal goes to the bathroom. He put a kli right there. So it never made it into the airspace of It the, does make it into the, the airspace. I don't really get that. Really, <laughs> Why? Because from the bucket, from the way it comes out, to the bucket is the airspace, right? It's a, it, I don't know. The airspace is the bucket. 
All right, I don't have to get technical. No, he's saying that it's still in the air. So we're saying that there must be no exactly. air. Exactly, the garrison to the bucket is attached to the animal. So it's a, there's no there's no space in between. Yeah. Yeah. I can put a, I had a behemoth diaper. I put a behemoth diaper on him. <laughs> yeah, but that, um, Ataka, wonder, is that, that would definitely work, right? If a bucket works. That's what we're saying. It's the same thing. No, because Zev is bothered by a bucket. A bucket, it still, it still goes the in the air. The bucket is, is the air of the bucket. What you getting into Klila Kef, Mechatzer Meicher? I I think that sounds like something along those lines, is what's bothering him. I mean, even if it's not kind of there here, it would be there. Even there, mm-hmm. we're not saying that the avir in the bucket is the avir of the Hudson. It's not. Why not? Because it's not. It's never it's hitting the bucket. How much never... air does it have to? How much air does it have to be in there? Tenth of a second or three seconds? What, what's the? What do you say? How do you measure air in seconds? I'm missing something. How do you measure if it's in the air or not? It's being the way I, I understand it, but I have again, I have this simple way of understanding things, which is a lot of times not the correct way. Do I, I'm saying it's That's it's so. blocked from the air, so it's it's never in the airspace. It's in the diaper. It's like a diaper. It's it? like a diaper. Yeah, yeah. It's much like a diaper. Okay. So you co- yeah, according to this understanding of it, it would be you have to make sure there's no space in between the top of the bucket and the body, the animal's body. L'chayra. Once you have a little space, then then l'chayra, What we're saying is it's not going to work. I think. Anyways. Okay, so that's the way Abayah says pshat. Rav Amar Avish ain't soifel lenuach lav kumunotami. If it's in the aro, that it's not. Going to eventually land in the ground on the ground, then that's not considered the the airspace of the rishus, and therefore he's not going to be kinder. So since it was going into a bucket, it never would have ended up on the ground. So if it's not on it's not on the ground, then in the airspace, not going to work either. So the Gemara asks, "Me pshitele the rava? Was that so simple to rava that if it doesn't land on the ground, it's not going to be considered in the airspace?" But me boy boy lay. This, there was a Shiloh to Rava. Rava had the Shiloh in Shabbos. The boy Rava, Zorak, I'm going to keep it Pesach Zev. You threw a wallet through this door and it went out the other door. Mao. So what's the din? Meaning, is he, is he kainet? Avir Shein Sevel and Nuach, Kemunach Dami, is the Avir where it's not going to land there because basically it's being thrown through the property from one end through the other end. So it's not going to come to rest. So is it Kamunach Dami? It or he loved Kamunach Dami. So that was Rava Shiloh. Right? So clearly Rava didn't have any definitive um sock on this. So why are we saying that Rava did have a definitive sock? So my answer is Hasam Loy Mifsuk Beloy Midi. There, there's no there's no hefsik whatsoever, meaning it's going in one door and going out the other door. Right? So Mamela, we're thinking, okay, but maybe it's as if his it went through his property. So maybe we maybe we look at it like it's on it was on the ground. But here there's a kli that's going to definitely block it. So if there's a kli that's going to definitely block it, so then it's definitely not considered that the airspace is his. Okay, so then the Gemara says, What's in the refes and in the chotzer? Refes is in the barn or corrals or whatever it is. And then you have in the chotzer. They're, they're a balabayas tarti. Why do you need to say refes and and chotzer? Some rabbi, a hochi kamer, v'shebe refes, shebe chotzer. What's in the barn that's in the chotzer, harei ulusha balabayas, that goes to the balabayas. It's mashma though, that if it was just in the chotzer, then maybe not. Or, or I guess maybe just in the refus, but at Lachar in the refus, Lachar for sure goes to the to the landlord. Okay. Summer of Ashi, Zaisimeras, a master, etc. Stam. If somebody rent, what it means to say is if he rents his house, Stam, like his refus, Shabbat, the barn is not included. 
Meaning you have a guy who rents out his house and it comes with a barn. So then the tenant says he wants to use the barn. The landlord says, no, it's not included. Even though they didn't, so if they didn't uh, specify in the contract, then it does not, the tenant is not allowed to use it. So Mesve, Yoyne, so Nagamara asks again on this whole concept that the avir of somebody's property is koina. So Mesve, Yoyne, Shoivach, Yoyne, Aliyah, we have birds, doves, that are in the Shoivach, is what do we call a Shoivach, dove coat. Right, for Yoyne, Aliyah, and, and birds that hang out in the, in the upstairs, in the attic, so Rashi, the point is, is that these are these are, since they uh, they're flying around, they're not really considered um, your own, like in the bias. So Yana Shav Yana Aliyah Chayavas B'Shiluach, your Chayiv B'Shiluach Ha, you should Chayiv and Shiluach Hakain. If you want to send them out, right? I Meaning, if you want to take the eggs, and or the chicks, then you have to send away the mother. And then you're allowed to take them. You're not allowed to take them when the mother's there. Basura is begin. That, that's the real. That's the real shiluah hakein. Shiluah hakein is not pshat that because of the segula, you go and you run and you start chasing away, you know, mother birds, and then you pick up the eggs and put it back. No, it's really meant that if you shouldn't, you know, again, we get into the whole Gemara that says, don't say it's al Hashem has rachmanis. All right, don't say that. But seemingly, that's what it is. If you want to take the birds or you want to take the eggs. Don't just take it away when the mother is there. Chase the mother away so she doesn't have such pain. Right? That's be'etzim what it's meant for. Right? It wasn't, again, it wasn't created to have schoolers. It happens to be that there is a school. Right? You, can't say, you just said you can't say the good word. It says you can't say it's for a Correct. What is that for me? So it's, it is, but you don't say that. It's mashma that, and there's no rahmanas by other things, whatever. It's different shot tomorrow in the Gemara. But it is for Rahmanas. Pashtas is, yeah. So why can't you say it? Again, well, when we do oh, those okay. Gemaras, we did, right? no, we we did. did those Gemaras, yeah. So we chazer those Gemaras, right? Because it sounds like only that. I already muted. I thought we don't know why it's for. Why are you saying that it's for Rahmanas? I don't understand. That's the, the push of the thing is that it's Rahmanas. That you don't, that you don't want to cause the Tsar to the mother by taking her babies away from her. Right, but you can't say it. You're not supposed to say I'll I'll can sipar yagiu rachamecha. Right, that's the lashon of the Gemara. You're not supposed to say it. Right, but, but whatever the whole Gemara goes through with all those. Kind of hard to understand because if you took the eggs, you you you're over the love, but you're not chayiv for it because you can send the mother after you send the mother away afterwards, and then the love goes away. So, so, so it's kind of a hard thing to understand that at all. That even that even the savor of Rachman is if 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 I, I I take the eggs and the mother's sitting back down there, I change the mother away after the fact. I I I'm not I don't no longer have the chiv anymore of of Marcus from it. There's, I never have I don't have the love anymore. So that whole idea of concepo you get rachamecha, it's just some kind of deal that the Vodafone gave me this mitzvah, and if I didn't do it this way, I do it that way, it still will work. So I don't the the, the savor of uh, the savor of uh, rachmanis is like out, well, out, okay, but it's out a ra- window, it's a lemaisa, off, off the nest. The Maisa, that is, according to many Rishonim, that is the reason. It is Rachmanas. And then you get into why you're not supposed to say it, etc., etc. But the bottom line is the push of the reading of it is that it's Alt Rachmanas. Anyways, so, so two things the Gemara is saying. You're Chayim and Shiluach Hakein, right? And, and it's Osir and Geza, meaning because of Dark Sholem. Other people are not allowed to come take it. Even though officially these are wild birds, they're not allowed to come take them. How does that work? Wild birds are not allowed to take it. Wild, wild in order to do Shiluah Hakein, you have to have a wild bird. Wild in order to do Shiluah Hakein, it has to be wild birds. You have to make, if, if somebody gets them in the yard, you have to first be mafka then. In no, order so to what's, the what's the gazela? That's what I'm saying. And the gazela is the same with a dark shalom. It's not gazela. It's only gazela because of dark shalom, meaning they're not yours. But you still can't take them because Dark Yishon, but that's exactly going to be the Gemara's Kash. Dark Yishon. Oh, okay. To keep the peace. Even though they're not your birds. You, can, no. you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't say you can do Shiluah Hakein 
and then tell somebody you're stealing my birds. Then you can't do shulachin. I mean, shulachin is only with wild birds. It can't be. It can't be in your property. I mean, it can be in your property, but it can't be in a way that you own them. And if, but if that's the case, you want to do shulachin. So then, if somebody comes and steals your birds, you can't. You can't. The guy can't them. come in your yard. No. Uh, let's say he calls, let's say he makes a bird call and he makes them fly to you and whatever, but he does uh, some, whatever Mishigas he does. I don't know, right? So whatever it is, but it's not, uh, so you can't have both. So, But that's what Gemara is going to say. So then, right? When it happens, when it happens, when it happens, right? When it happens, right? And it comes to exclude if you have the birds prepared. What My saying? daughter had it a few weeks ago. And the Rav told her to make that tree in her yard hefka. Right, you got to make the tree yeah. hefka. Yeah, yeah, that's you got to do that. Make the tree hefka, and you hope some somebody didn't listen in and decides to take your tree, right? But yes, that's that's what you have to do. So that's what's saying. Ki is problem azumim. So how can you do it if Rabbi Yosi, for Rabbi Hanina holds that chaterah shalom's kind of which let me die this, and then they you just acquire the birds. So then, of course, you have that eitzo, my Ravan. You shouldn't be happy with that eitzo because there we go. Okay, we just we just did a workaround against the Torah. The Torah said it can't be yours. Okay, so make your house hefker, make your tree hefker. I, I didn't say I was happy with. I was just happy that my daughter, my look, were able to do the bits. Okay, good, good. I'm just saying. yeah. Anyway, right? So you have a workaround, another workaround. Make it happen. As long as they are <laughs> happy, we can throw the religion out the window. It's all right. It's good. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> right? Anyways. <laughs> um, again, but you can have the kasha. Uh, like the Toys was said, you could have the kasha from the Geneva too. Right? Why is it Geneva? What do you mean? It's not... Uh, if you if you go like Riyazu Hanina, then it's real Geneva, not Tarkish Shalom. Okay, the Gemara chose one way. So Amar Rava, Beitza, now we get really technical. Not complicated, just technical. Beitza, Beitzias, Ruba, Huda, Chayv, Lopi, Shiluach. The Shiluach Akan, Chiyav, is Chal, when most of the egg drops out of the mother. But the Chatzer but the, the is not Kaina until it falls into the Chatzer. When we said that when are you chayiv in shiluach hakain, that's when it's on its way down. Once it's down, then it's then you're already kind it and it's no longer yours. Well, Rabban, what do you? Uh... No, just because today, the, today this afternoon, I was learning of Be'ish and Alta Biyomta in, in Shulchan Aruch and Mishnah oh. and it talks about egg that came out and went back in. And then... oh, there you go. That's okay. So you <laughs> very good. Very good. So anyway, so we're saying now we're getting for a very technical Yiddish guy. This is really technical. So what the Mishnah meant, what the Brisa meant, is that for the once it's out the majority, now he has a chi of shiluach hakein. But in around three seconds, it's it's gone because in three seconds his chutzer is going to be kind of, and now it's no longer considered wild. How so, is it possible to shiluach hakein on that? I it's have still no idea. Partially in the mother. I, I have no idea. How do you no. scare the mother away from the egg? I as don't know. As soon as know. it's out, it's in the avir of the chutzur. So it's in while you're scaring the mother away from it. No, it sounds like if it's not going to land. Well, it's not going to land if it's in the mother. Right. So I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this works exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so what it says, Yehochi, am I asurus v'shum gezel? So then why is it asur for gezel? Right? Because it's it's a wild bird. I mean, the, the eggs are wild, meaning at that particular second, why is it, it's it's still be considered wild? Meaning, again, the two go hand in hand. So that no pun intended. But I'm saying it's, it's not, you shouldn't be chayiv in gezel. Right, because the his, his chotzer was not yet kinda. So Gemara says Aima. Now it's going on the mother. That's by the mother, meaning the mother bird. That's going to be Geneva. Viva is same. Eloilam abetim. Or we say that it's really going on the eggs. So with the nafik ruba daite ilave, and once the most of the egg comes out, then then he already he has das to be kinded. But he but he's not kinded yet. He has das to be kinded. So mela. 
It's going to become his. So somebody comes to steal it. It's also al Take Shalom. But it's still not his enough that he could uh he could uh um Dukh Shiloh. He, the Rav says that it's also to be in the eggs while the mother's sitting on them. I don't know if he's on or not, but this is this is a major song of the Daf. This this sugi is here um, from Gershon's hometown. Yeah, the, I'm here. It's a London Jew. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, if yeah, the parents will probably post the link. There's a beautiful nig in the the what, what's it called brothers saying it together because their father loved doing shalua hakan. The shleimah simcha and his brothers. You ever heard that rendition? It's beautiful. Anyways, kedai to listen to. So anyways, shenema shalech to shalach is saying supposed to send away the mother. Vahadar es habonim tikach lach. And then it says you take after you send the mother away, then you take the kids. Right, so according to that, you can't be kind of the eggs while the mother's still sitting on it. So, which is mamish mashma that it's that's it's about sending away the mother. I'm meaning for her for rachmanus. So then you could say even if the egg fell into the chatzin, as long as he has the ability to be zaychin in chatzera, it's achilei. Then it's chatzer zaychin. But where he can't be zaychin it. Because the, the bird, the mother bird, is still sitting on it, and his is not kind of it either. So basically, he's saying again, you have a two way street. He's kind of he's not kind of it, right? Whenever he's kind of it, so then the Geneva kicks in, and then he can no longer do Shiloh right? Okay, so yes, then what? Oh, sorry. Yeah. The Ihochi, as soon as Begazel made Dark Shalom. So then, you're saying that it's only Gezel because Dr. Shalom? Eat the If he already sent away the mother, Gezel Ma'ayahu, it's really Gezel. Eat the If he didn't send it, Habay Shlucha, then he still needs to send it out. Right? Meaning, some Amad So we say, Bekaton de la Bar Shiluachu. We're talking about a Katan who's not Bechuyev to send away the mother. So he's totally Potter. So he's the one that took the eggs. So he wasn't over on any Issa. So Mamela, that's why we only have a Dirabonon to give back the eggs. Meaning the cotton was the was the crook. Right? So Mamela, it's only a, it's only out uh, Dark Yeshalom to give it back. So cotton bar Dark Yeshalom is a cotton somebody who has to give something back because of Dark Yeshalom. Dark Yeshalom is for an adult. Okay, the kid's father needs to go give back the eggs because of Dark Yisholem. Okay, so that's the give and the take with the whole uh, it's the whole thing. Just Agav Diktuk, it's Shidua Hakain. Not Shidua wanna... Hakan. We pointed out a lot. It's not Shidua Hakan. Even though the Pasuk says Kan Zipor, that's only because it's connected to the word afterwards. So it changes from a tzere to a pasach. I know this is Rabbi Sro Reisman. That's it. I have no idea why, what it go. The when it's it's should, a cane. The word is a cane. A nest is a cane. When you attach it to a word after it, it changes diktuk purposes from a tzere to a pasach. So when you hear people say no, it's shiluach hakan because that's what said. Look in the chumas shiluach hakan. No, it's not. It's shiluach hakane. In the in the Chumash, it's 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 kan tzipor because it's connected to the next word, right? Does that make any? Does that make sense? Whatever. So that's like we said. Most most say that it's by remine visomim, not bisomim by havdola, right? Because when you have the yud before, it makes the base into a vase. I don't know. Fine. I found your source that said bisomim. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. I hear. Uh, it's directly connected to him. It's not. It's not disconnected at all. Where he can't be zayik, his chutz can't be zayik. Where he can, he starts to is. I hear. Interesting. That's a good dick. The Um Okay, so let's see. So Zakti Mishnah. Hamaska buys the Khaver Lashana. So 
this is also a hard thing to understand. When you have an Ibriyar, the I don't see they say this thing that Rukhaim Kanievsky used to write his svarim in the Ibriyar. That's a rumor. I don't think that was ever substantiated. That in the Ibriyar he had an extra month, so he had time to write his svarim. Right? I don't think that was ever substantiated, but when you think about it, that's you have an extra. If you go, if you talk to live your life, I'll pee Tyra, so then you talk to have an extra month. Right? So to the point where are you are you going to lose a month's rent because of this? Meaning it's a year. You have a year rental. So this year, the year is 13 months. Right? So let's see. So I'm asking about this. It, it becomes a Ibriyar for the Seicher. The Seicher gets that that 13th month free. His Lechadashim, but if he only had a month-to-month -month rental, short-term rental, then the Sabra Rashan and the Sabra Lamaschir, then the, the Maschir gets to get uh, paid. There was a Maischensparri. So he did both. His contract said that he's paying 12 months a year, 12, 12 Zav a year, Zav, Dina Zav for a Chaydish. So it said both in the contract. On Tom Abayth. Bupal Maiz, the Pneir of Shimon Gamliel, and the Maiz that came from Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, the Pneir of Yaisi. Ba'amri Yachloiko is Chaydish Ever. So they did the good old uh, uh, Pshar. Right? Momen Amotu Basafik is Chalkin. So they said, we don't know. We don't know who it's because the contract said two things. It's a 12 month rental for 12 Dinre Zav, a, a Zav for each month. So the Gemara says, Maisa Lista, you have a Maisa for the Stira. You just got finished saying that it's either goes to the Maser or the Seicher, and then you say a story that they split it. So Chesurei Mechsa Rav Achikotani, there's something missing from the Mishnah. Bim Amar Lai B'Shnayim Asa Zahubim L'Shana Midina Zav L'Chaydash. The din is, is if, you, if they said 12 months and one Zav per month, so now both terminologies are being used, they split it. Right, so there's not meaning the story is just a it's just saying a story about what exactly on, on the on the din that was left out of the mission. So now we have three Amirayim who will who are dis going to disagree with Rab Shimon Gamliel and Rabbi Yaisi. It's very interesting. They don't usually have that, where you have Tanoim who say a din, and then come along three Amirayim and say, I wouldn't do that. Right? <laughs> right? But they say, it doesn't sound like they're chaylik. I think, I don't know if you could be medayik like that, but you say, if I would have been there, I would have said this. Not that he's saying he's disagreeing. Meaning in the practical that he's disagreeing. I would have given the whole the whole thing to the masher. So Gemara says, "My kamashmal." What's he trying to say? Toughest lashon achron. You always go with the later lashon. Why? Because the, it was said it's a twelve month rental for twelve zav, one zav per month. So the last thing that was written, or the last thing that came out of the mouth, was one zav zav per month. Which means that that the Tanakama says that that goes to the landlord. So if that's what he's, if that's what Rav is saying. We already know that. Omar Rav Chadazim, he already said it once. Omar Rav Huna, Amri Bey Rav, Astira Ma Moi. So Astira is 100 Mois. May a Moi, then he has to give him 100 Mois. May a Moi Astira, but if 100 May is with an Astira, then he has to give Astira. Astira, whatever all the calculations Rashi says, comes out to 96 Prutas instead of 100. Right? So in the first way, he has to give 100. In the second way, he has to give 96. Because it's an astira. So you see, you always go with the last terminology that was used. So what's the Chiddush? We already know that. So the more answer is, Isn't it even more interesting, isn't Faislash and Achan and Machlechus for man Rabbi Yaisi also by Tmura? It's a Machlechus by Tmura. I don't remember who they were and whether it's a Machlechus Tanayim or not, but I trust you. Yes, it is. Saying, it is your Mary Basie. Yeah. And Rav's saying here, I, I'm arguing with Rabbi Yaisi because Tzvay Slash and Akhren, which is what Rabbi Yaisi said there. Correct. Well, for whatever reason, Rabbi Yaisi didn't want to go with that. So that, that, my that's that's like what, what you're saying, saying before. Is uh, well, that Tzvay is the one you're asking. Tzvay can't. Well, Tzvay is asking a little differently than what you're asking. I think, right? Yeah, so this I is a different two question, two. but it's similar. It's a similar but question. It might be Miyoshev, his Tysus answer. 
Right. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Right. He is. So he's basically tries to saying that it's it, we're misupic exactly how it goes over here. Anyway, so Gemara says, "Ime hasam have a prusha come afarish." If it was from over there, I would have thought that he's just coming to explain himself. Kamash Malon, that's what we're saying here, that the seller is not coming to explain himself, and he's going with, we're going with the last Lashon. Okay, that's Rav. Shmuel, Amar, Baba, Emtza, Chaydesh, Shmuel says that's talking about, the mission is talking about where they came in the middle of the month. So now, like, that's why they're splitting it. If they came in the beginning of the month, then everything goes to the landlord. If they come at the end of the month, it all goes to the renter. Meaning, okay, well, we'll see in the Gemara what the Pshan in this is. So basically, Shmuel is not going with that. We go with the last terminology. But Rabbi Shmuel, a guy says, I'm selling you a kur for 30, for 30 seller. So meaning the, the Kenyan is not done until he takes all the 30 cell. So as long as he only took 29, since the, the Kenyan wasn't done, he can he can back out. He may get a Mishapara, whatever, but he could halachically back out. But he says 30, uh, 30, uh, 30, uh, 30 for 30 saw for a cellar. Then not, then Rishon, Rishon, Kana, then each and every seller, because the terminology was used that each and every seller is going to be Kana. Right? So that's, and that is, uh, that's Shmuel talking. It's Rav and Shmuel talking. So they say, Hasam, time am I, Mishum, the toughest. Over there, the reason is because it's not because the whether we go with the terminology or not, there, the guy already has the money in his hand. So whoever has the money in their hand is considered the Muxik. And therefore, the burden of proof is on the other person. So, 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 cut off is here too. If it was done in the beginning of the month, so who's holding on to the, who's holding on to the money, right? So, it, 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 depends. it depends. In the beginning, in the beginning of the month, so he gets a chazaka. He has the chazaka. The the owner has the chazaka. We're talking about a bathhouse. So, mamela, you you have to prove it to me. Right, but if it's at the end of the month, well, the te the tenant already stayed there for the whole month, so he had it. So then, the, the burden of proof is on the on the landlord. That's the second shot. Rav Nachman Omar Karka Becheskes Balea Kayemes. The Karka always goes in the Chazaka who owns it. So Mamela, it goes to the landlord because he owns it. Everybody's mighty that he owns it. So Gemara asks, My Kamash, what toughest lashon Acharon? Are you saying that you go with the lashon Acharon? Right, Hainu the Rav. That's Rav. So, so the Gemara answer is very posh. No, Afagav the Apich Mepich. No, even if you switched around the terminology and said I'm renting it once, one dinar per month for 12, 12 dinar for the year, even then, Rab Nachum would say that the Maschir gets the rent, the extra month's rent, because he's considered, he's considered Mosik. Right? Um, yeah, okay, I would have wanted to done a little more, but. And I'm not going to dive in my riff, so so we'll stop over here. Oh, yeah. um, okay, let's say it. Tell him. Jack, are you doing regular time tomorrow night? Why not? Do it a little earlier, do more. Waxman, maybe. Who? Oh. Waxman. Where Waxman tomorrow's in Chayashu, 8.30. Is the oh, island going there? Him, let, let him enjoy himself. <laughs> I think most of the island is not there. It's not going, so. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. I don't know. I mean, I out of the 11 people that are on here tonight, how many are going? No, I wasn't planning on going, but making it earlier, maybe. That's why there's still... 12 on. I wasn't including you. No, maybe talk I'm, I'm not planning on going. <laughs> Do they still lock the doors? I'm not going either. <laughs> I'm only for only for foreigners from upstate. Um, <laughs> maybe we should talk and do it earlier. Maybe we could do a little more. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. I'll post it out. Okay,